everyone and welcome. This video is a sort of follow-up on the previous installation video uh, called Setup and Information number 3, how to install Ori, since there were some important updates in April 2023. You may have noticed uh, on the online repository that there's no more solution files to open in Visual Studio. They are nowhere to be found. But wait, 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 before calling Liam or Denzel, it's all under control. It's actually a good thing. We now only have to maintain one set of solution files, the cmakelist.txt here, um, and it's multi-platform. It works for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, whatever else. No need for a specific version. It's basically one file to build them all. Hang on, that story sounds familiar. It kind of ring a bell. Uh, Anyway, um, one of the new changes as well is that we are now using vcpkg, which uh, help us maintain external libraries dependencies uh, a bit more efficiently. So in this video, we'll show you how to download and install vcpkg along with the libraries that are required to build ORE. And of course, we'll show you how to download build ORE CMake and how to run an example. I will not go through the other prerequisites, uh, which I'm showing you on the screen, and I will assume that you already have Visual Studio 2022, Git, and Boost installed and configured. If you don't, then please watch the video I'm showing you on the screen first, and then come back to this video. Now, I know sequels are usually not better than the original, um, except for Toy Story 2, of course, um, and The Dark Knight, and Aliens, and Terminator 2, and The Godfather 2, The Empire Strikes. Anyway, um, well, well, I forgot I said anything. Anyway, I hope you will find this SQL useful. Let's go. The package we need to install is called vcpkg. So go on their website, uh, vcpkg.io. And vcpkg is a cross-platform open source package manager by Microsoft. And it's actually quite useful in our case. Click on get started and the first command to launch is uh, the cloning of the repository. So go to your user folder. I mean, you can choose whatever folder you want, but this is where I installed mine. Uh, launch git bash and paste the cloning command, then execute it. Here we go. So now that you have the repository downloaded, the second step is to build vcpkg. To do that, launch a command line by typing cmd, then enter. And you can see we've downloaded the repository and then position yourself in that repository. So just do cd vcpkg and launch the bootstrap bat uh, comment. As you can see, it's fairly quick. Uh, and the next step is to install the required libraries. So we do that with the vcpkg install command, um, followed with the dash dash triplet x64 dash windows. Um, that's to um, capture the target environment. Uh, and the required uh, libraries are zlib open SSL CPP REST SDK and Open Tracing. The installation of these packages uh, takes a few minutes. Um, it was pretty much three minutes on my computer. So we're going to accelerate this part. Here we go. In the next step, we want to perform a user-wide integration to make it um, available for other projects by typing vcpkg integrate install and in the final step we want to make vcpkg visible to um, cmake in visual studio to do so search for environment variables click on edit then environment variables and then at the bottom click on new then search for the pass to the vcpkg folder you can copy it here and then paste it in variable value. And then for the variable name, you can type vcpkg underscore 
root all in uppercase and then you're good. Let's now install Ori. And if you're like me and you never remember where the <laughs> repository is located, you can easily find it from the open source risk engine uh, website where um, as previously showed as well, you have some um, documentation, you have the user guide located here uh, that you can explore. Um, and to find the repository, you can go on view on GitHub and here it is. Same radio, click on code, you look at the HTTPS link, you copy, go to your folder where you want to install it. So here you do right click, git bash. So here we're going to do a git clone, but we're going to do a git clone recurse. So dash dash recurse dash sub module with an S and then you paste it. Um, the reason is is because the quantum repository is uh, is a sub module pointing to the official quantum repository, so you need to download that as well. You could also do git clone and then git sub module in it, git sub module update, but here everything is done at once. There we go. And now you have all the files to build or array. So next thing you want to do is actually open a CMEC compatible um, command line. Uh, so you can scroll back to uh, Visual Studio 2022 and you open the um, relevant uh, command prompt for my, in my case, it's the last one. You can see the in that folder and you'll notice a run CMEC VS command line that you want to run. And if you have a uh, correctly configured uh, boost environment and uh, VCPKG, it should run. Here we go. And now if you go to the build folder, you can see that you now have a um, solution file that you can use to uh, to build the required version that you want. Um, however, you don't necessarily need to do this. You can simply open a local folder and uh, open the engine folder as, as your basis. and select the version that you want. So let's go for the debug version here. Wait for the CMake generation finish uh, line to appear. And now you can go to build, build old. And now that the debug version is built, um, you can go check that the uh, executable has been created in engine build app. Here is debug, and you can see you have the OREX uh, execution uh, file. Um, then the next step you can do uh, is add this executable to uh, your environment variable. I would usually recommend um, putting the, the, the release version, but here for this example, we're going to add the debug one. So to do that, you go to your um, environment variable control panel, same as before environment variable, then you go at the bottom and search for the pass one, edit, and then we're going to add uh, the pass to the, the executable. Here we go. And you can see now that if you open, the, uh, open a command line, cmd, up, and type ORE, it's working. 
if you want to run the uh, an example um, so you go to engine example let's look at example 7 go to place yourself in there so CD example 7 so you don't go into the input um, folder you go to the, the parent folder so example 7 and then here you type ORI that's the executable and you want to put yourself you want to run the ORI.xml present in there and it's launching and it worked you can check the um, output in in that folder and for example we can go to um, let's look at the npv one or the xva results and my work here is done now i hope now your version is working as well if you do have any questions or concern anything that doesn't work please do contact us thank you for watching